Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. Remember how Dara said we had to do something we could get information from the church? Well we can. What is the data? <laughs> anyway, we're back at um hometown. And in hometown there's the church. And if you remember when we first talked to him when we first started the game, he asked for donations. If you donate 20 times, which is 2,000 pieces of gold, um, he will give you something. And I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me donate this 20 times, so, um, what you say? Okay, as you can see, we obtained the Book of Ava. The Book of Ava is the item that I was talking about. And all it does is, if you go to key items and you look at it, it gives you the actual name of the Lord Ava, the full name. So now we can actually go to the church. But we're going to make one quick stop before we do. Because here's the church. I don't want to make one quick stop before we go there. I just want to stock my items. So we'll run into the item shop. Young job. Let's see. Let's buy eight of these. Five of these. Go. Three of these. That should be good. Yay! Someone is coming in the garage. The mic is probably picking that up. I hope it doesn't, but it probably is. So let's go down to the right a little bit. Land. I'm going to I'm going to ever I uh, swap with you. Did you memorize the gospel of Eva? I sure can that's why I get me cheat sheet and I'm palm my hand. The situation with Paris has got me worried. Our entire mission may already be compromised. What do you mean? Ooh, yeah, let's kick some ass. I haven't seen Paris anywhere. You don't she got caught, do you? Uh oh. What name is Shoulder? Damn, how do I go again? What will be questioned about the gospel there? Make sure you've got your facts straight. Paris was using the house as a base of operations for investigation of the cathedral. This is a point of no return. We must storm the cathedral at all cost. For that reason, the nun, everybody else, and then us. We look so inconspicuous. Greetings, greetings, Father. They said you bring new disciples, correct? <laughs> of course, power for our God. And good day to you, sister. Uh. The Lord Amish be with you. Alright, people, now listen up. There are heretics out here to chain the name of Lord Ava with their vile lies and openly rebel against the church. I believe Father Mason has chosen widely, but my orders are to question your disciples to us and obtain their fidelity. We you recite the gospel we will repeat after me. The Lord Ava and his children transcend both time and space. The voice of all our prayers. Shall banish the darkness. Unite up your souls as one. Er, and hope will your hearts find peace. Abandon the avarice and desire. And through prayer will, will thou keep the love of God. Is that right? Put thoughts of others before thoughts of myself. And cast thee out of thine hatred. For even in the blackest darkness, the face of God can be seen in the merest flicker of light. Hmm. 
there's still more of you? Well, there is a problem. I've already run through the entire gospel. Oh, uh, hey, you all fast go outside, Holly. Hold on a sec, I just thought of a question I could ask you. What is the true name of Lord Ava? Guess what? I guess that was a silly question to ask you. You're free to go. And that's what we needed to look for. So we walk straight. Tom of the Fenner and High Priest of the Church of England is about to speak. We'll just sit up in the pews and listen to this sermon like good little drums, and then we'll strike. That bastard won't know what hit him. We'll show everyone that Wolf and Priest clothing is really up to. Oh my god, he's ugly. He's ugly. He's old and ugly. Welcome one and all to our humble house of God. The Almighty Evans is pleased to see so many of his faithful gathered here today. As always, I bring you word directly from Lord Evans. And thus the Lord spake. There are those in this world who fear and shun my light. Such people are devils, and most of us by hate and desire. And once such heathen defiles his very cathedral as I speak. Oh crap. Uh oh, you think the jig's up? Shh, listen. With the guidance of God, I have rooted out this per per personis viper. A viper sleeping in our own den. Look upon this little creature who choose our own blessed city as a hiding place from which to plot and scheme. Look upon the face of one who wishes to find a dagger in the heart of our feet. He's holding up like an L. Like losers. It's Clarice. She's in like a Zelda level. This woman, this witch, is possessed with an unfathomable evil. Her wickedness drives her to destroy all that is good and wholesome in our world, starting with the great Lord Evan. But behold, the Lord is Almighty, and the heathen holds no sway against him. Kill her, kill her, like tear her apart. But what now, Tika? If we don't do something fast, these elves will have players butchered. Damn it. Kill her, kill her. Apart. Notice how the dragon gem is black. Lord Emmett greatly appreciates your enthusiasm, but remember the Lord Emmett also says cast the out of thine hatred. If we should be driven to hate, then the evil one is victorious. No, this wayward soul will be yet be saved. Lord Emmett forgives all who but open their hearts. Let us speak to her of his gospel and see if she will not listen. Dear child, let me ask you your name. You do not wish to speak, that is fine as well. If you shall not speak your name, then I shall speak it for you. Clarence. <laughs> How did you know? Reading the mind is but one of many talents God grants his devoted child. You are part of the resistance which opposes the Church of Ava. You are hiding here in Ever I in an attempt to investigate our cathedral. Am I not wrong, Clarice? Clarice! You can't hide your secrets by closing your mind, me, Clarice. The harder you try to conceal the truth, the more your heart aches to reveal it. This guy is creepy. Can we kill him? Yes, I see the mountain where your resistance makes its home. Your leader, ah, your leader's youth by the name of Tiga, yes. Stop it, stop it, get out of my head! I'm afraid I can't do that yet, Clarice. We must rid them. We must rid you of your inner demons and every secret you reveal is a step closer to that goal. Yes, yes, it is a step closer to that goal. I know what you're thinking right now, Clarice. You're dreaming that Tiga, your knight, and Shine Devil will swoop in and save you from the clutches of the evil church. But you know that will never happen, however much as long as you long for him from afar, you will you are you're still a mere pawn to him. We both know how it is, though. We can't contain the good of existence for the one foolish little girl right now, can we? Even if I die here where I stand, Tiga will avenge my murder. Mark my words. Tiga, this is no time to blank out on us. Tiga! Sorry, there. It looks like I have a prior engagement. That's the spirit. Let's save Clarence and kick Albrook's ass. No, I have to do this alone. 
Can you see? He knows all. Yeah, this is trap the words out and crush us all at once. Tika, if you go down, you're gonna die. Maybe, but I won't let her die thinking I don't give a damn about her. I was too caught up with myself to realize it, but I've always loved Clarus, too. She believes I'm coming to rescue her, and I make it a policy to never stand our girl up. So to fight in a room like this, Ria, the rest is going to be up to you. Wow, Barry got dumped already. Hold it right there, Halbuck. I was wondering if the luscious Tika has made his grand entrance. You think this is some kind of song and dance? Does your twisted ass god think treating a defenseless woman like this is some kind of freak show as entertainment? It makes me puke. That was a table to you. Feisty one is I was hoping. And you didn't come along, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm gonna warrant ring your neck with my own two hands. This reminds me of this Zelda fight with the wizard who went to the past. I can hope to win against me, Tiga. If there's anyone here today who knows that spittle soul, pay a close attention. For today, you will miss firsthand what happens to those who defy the will of God. Or Claire, your beloved came to save me after all. And since the two of you are so close, it would only be appropriate if I sent you both to Lord Aven together. Relax, Tika, your suffering is almost at an end. And on your recurring memory, I shall relieve you of your burdens first. Tell with you. Uh, 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 uh. K.O. Tiga, no. Hey, we get color back. And now, Clarice, you may follow us. That is so messed up. He's just like, I'm just gonna drop you. Screw you, girl. You're just gonna get dropped on your head. No respect. Behold, be faithful, for such is the strength of Lord Evan. Upon the just, he showers his blessings upon the little keeper. It's destruction. So, why are you still here? Tina, he's still alive. C class. This dude is really messed up. Can we kill him now? The evils are gone from us, and let's pray for the twisted souls. Lord Evan is children transcend both time and space. God. Tika fought for what he believed in up until the very end. Hearing how much sur sur surmise that like that turned my blood cold since I wonder who side we were really on. This is no time to be doubting ourselves. How can the church which we stop no matter what? So even let's finish what Tika started, put an end to this crazy cold. You get access to your entire party. So we're actually going to bring you, you, and you. Let's change the formation. Let's try defense. There we go. And that's the end of this worship for today. Thank you all for attending. Get back here. If you stand here, they keep praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. And praying. It's really like. Hmm. More friends of Tiga, perchance? Or perhaps the devil's behind his deeds? The Lord of Ava's compassion is great, but not infinite. Those who will kneel before him and offer their heartfelt prayer shall all be forgiven. But I think that heretics such as yourself shall receive only damnation. Pray, give these seasons a taste of God's almighty power. It shall be as you command, Father Hallow. You have long since crossed the point of salvation. Here you shall perish. There's nothing left to be said. The Lord ever commands that you be destroyed, then I have no choice but to obey as well. Ryu, long ago I thought we had to one another. But since the path we've chosen are in opposition. Come forth, Ryu. Let me show you my true power. He's a demon! No, he's not. He's a dragon. This fight is pure story driven. There's only you, you don't win this fight. You, you don't. You have, or you win this fight, but not in the way you think. Ray will always attack Ryu. Or you can do no damage to Ray. So just 
Don't even bother. Just save your MP. Just heal up. Is that all real? You will need to attack him until the story gets driven further. Actually, I'm gonna have Eska heal since you'll heal second. Save myself the energy. Actually, does one of you have speed up? I don't remember. Do you? No, you just have shield. Do you have an item with a speed up? For what happens next in this story, drive it out. He should be, it should move on to the next part anytime soon now. I forget how many times you actually have to hit him. It's not actually driven by how much damage you do him. But I'm guarding in hopes that we'll actually lower the amount of damage we take when he does what he's supposed to do. I just noticed they put Ryu in the front. Probably because of this fight. I don't know. You also notice he hasn't attacked anybody but Ryu. So nobody dies from it. Well, I don't know if guarding actually does any good against it, but it's worth a shot. you just do the damn attack already? Oh, 
Watch, he's gonna do it this time just because I did that. It didn't take, it doesn't normally take this long. There's only one way to kill him, and he has to literally unlock the power for you to kill him. And he hasn't done it yet. I still had it. Oh, would you just do the damn attack already? Do we have to be like under a certain amount of health or something? We need to do it. I mean, not heal you for a bit. See what happens. Because not gonna have any magic left by the time this is over. Just because he won't do the damn attack. Attack already. Do it. Jesus. Stop being a jerk. I'm sorry, this is probably the world was born that I'm fighting ever. There we go, behold my ultimate power. Oh, that worked like I wanted it to. Wait, what's happening to Ryu? What is that? That would be unlocking his final dragon form. This is the only way to kill Ray. But Ryu has to live long enough to cast it. Because he does it again. Spartan's gonna die. In the normal version, the non retranslated version, this dragon is called the G Dragon. No one knows what G stands for. In this version, it's called the Kaiser Dragon. The dragon strength 
can only be awakened when matched with equal force. Let me lend you my power again, power to conquer the church. You seek the old woman named Daisy, correct? She's being held upstairs. It appears I have made a grave error. I was taken by Father Halbuck when I was but a child. I had no other family. No, knew no other family. The only light I knew was that of Ava. Men get that the woman cannot atone for the sins of the church and cannot be saved. For you have promised me that you will make a world where people can believe in God that is true and just. And Ray dies. And we now have access to the Kaiser Dragon form, which again takes all of our ability. And it's worth it though. So I'm gonna end this video here. I'm actually gonna go heal up, get my mana back, or my magic pack, and I'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Thanks for watching.